outside right now. This is a live look from the tower camera here on Melwood Avenue back towards, of course, downtown Louisville. Now look at that thing. It's not shaking as bad as last night, but it's moving once again. Those south breezes have kicked in. They're gusting over 30, but my goodness, are they warm breezes right now. Matter of fact, we are at 65 degrees outside at this time in the downtown area. That's the daytime high. We started out at 36, kind of chilly this morning, even with a few peaks of sunshine before the clouds moved in. Once the clouds moved in, the showers weren't far behind, as you know, midday, early afternoon as the warm front moved through, we picked up just over a third of an inch of rain. It's dry out there right now, though, and it is warm. Temperatures across the board, middle 60s in town. Humidity 70%, a south breeze 22 but gusting over 30, and we're going to hold on to this warm air probably for about the next uh, 18 hours or so, and then that's it. We're going to get cold again by late tomorrow and especially into Friday. Here's your radar scope. Nothing showing up with the warm breezes outside. Off to the northwest, a few blips showing up on the radar scope, especially from, uh, uh, let's call it just south of Bedford, down to near Paoli, just north of there anyway. A couple of other lips, little blips there west of Seymour, so a chance for a shower overnight, mainly north of the Ohio River. Aside from that, the warm air is in place right now across the uh, good chunk of the Ohio Valley, and uh, by the time you wake up in the morning, my goodness, you're going to walk outside to temperatures in the low and middle 60s. But there's the change. It is a fairly strong cold front, and it is kicking off a narrow line of windy showers, even a little bit of thunder and lightning across northern Indiana on into eastern Illinois. But in the interim, we've got the warm southerly breezes, which no doubt will win out through the first half of tomorrow. So here's your future clouds and radar. Notice where the green is a little bit more widespread overnight, basically north of the Ohio River. That's where there could be a few showers. Aside from that, uh, mainly dry skies and it's going to be warm. Overnight low temperatures, low to middle 60s, about where they're at right now, I think will hold steady for the rest of the overnight. So we'll wake up to cloudy skies, a chance for a shower again in southern Indiana, but the rain chances really increase as we move into the afternoon, and that's simply because the cold front will be passing through. And once it passes through, you're going to know it. You're going to feel it big time because there's going to be a sudden drop in temperature and also a wind shift line, of course. Before the front arrives, look at those highs. Middle and upper 60s, a few spots could be close to 70 midday or early afternoon. The front will move through for Friday, even a chance for a couple of showers south, otherwise cloudy skies, 30s. So we go from almost 70 tomorrow, midday, early afternoon, to the middle and upper 30s as we head on into Friday. Crazy weather, huh? Here's the forecast. Next few hours, 60s in store, mainly cloudy, breezy, warm. I think we'll wake up to 64 degrees. Midday, we're, we should be right around the daytime high in the upper 60s. And then by late afternoon, the cold front will be working through. 5 o'clock temperatures dropping through the 40s. A few showers will be likely. Seven-day forecast, we hold in the 30s on Friday. Uh, back into the lower 40s, albeit with a couple of rain chances. And for the holiday, we bump up again to 65 degrees next Monday with